Hi everyone, in this video we are going to talk about three types of quotes for strings in Python. In Python programming language you can enclose your strings within three types of quotes. First type is a single quote character, so you can enclose your string with single quotes. For example, let's make variable text 1 and let's put our string inside single quotes. For example, let's make string good morning. Then we have second type of quotes. Second type of quotes is a double quotes character and we can enclose string with double quotes. For example, let's say text 2 equals good afternoon. So we are putting our string inside double quotes. And finally, third type of quotes are triple quotes and they can be defined as three single quotes before and after the string or three double quotes before and after the string. For example, let's say text three equals and let's put inside three between three single quotes our string for example good evening or we can use triple quotes to be double quotes characters so we can define string inside three double quotes for example good night okay let's talk little about triple quotes and then we will talk about single and double quotes also. For triple quotes most Python programmers use three double quotes. This type of quotes is mainly used for documentation. You should use triple quotes to document the purpose of parts of your code and text put it inside triple quotes are is also known are also known as doc strings uh, triple quotes also allows you to make strings to be in multiply lines with single or double quotes you can make strings to be only in one line okay uh, what about single and double quotes you can use them as you wish but keep in mind that single quotes are very popular with the majority of Python programmers. So you can use single quotes or double quotes, but single quotes are more popular inside Python's community. And if you choose one style of that styles for writing your code please stay con consistent uh, do not change your rules 
when you're making or programming your code because if you stay consistent then your code will be more readable and you can easy maintain it this is all for this lesson thanks for watching happy coding